Whatever reason people have to use a certain label for their sexuality is great and should be respected. I did finger guns below the camera. Cause I'm bisexual. That's how you know someone's bisexual. Hi, I'm Jackson Bird, and I talk a lot about being trans. Trans, 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 trans. trans. But I don't talk that often about being bisexual. Some people aren't even sure if I am bi. I am. I am bisexual. I am the bisexual. Why do we have to say sex so much when we're talking about sexuality? I mean, I guess it makes sense. This week happens to be bi week, bisexual awareness week, so I wanted to A, remind you all that I am hella bi, and B, chat about why I don't talk about it that much. I think the first reason is because when you're trans, sexuality can be a bit of an afterthought. I mean, for me, it was actually a huge hang up of a misunderstanding and figuring out my gender, but that's a story for another time. But you know, once you've like unpacked the meaning of gender and realized just how infinite and fluid gender is, a lot of trans people find ourselves pretty ambivalent to the gender of whoever we're attracted to. Hashtag not all trans people. There are absolutely trans people out there who are staunch and steady in their sexualities and I get that and I respect that. But it is fairly common even for trans people who are only attracted to one gender to be a bit more open and exploratory in their tastes than their straight or solely gay cisgender counterparts would be. And in fact, it's pretty common for trans people's sexualities to shift a bit during transition. Which is another reason why I didn't talk about my sexuality online for a while. Cause that happened to me. A little bit. Kind of. Ish. So like a lot of other trans people, when I started to socially and physically transition, I felt a new comfort in my body and identity and place in society, which led me to be way more attracted to girls than I had been in the past. And I think part of it is that new comfort in ourselves that can open up an attraction to people whose gender expressions might have previously triggered our dysphoria. I've also heard from trans people who may be previously identified as gay that once they're settled in their true gender, they find they still prefer being in same gender relationships, even if that means they're now dating a different gender than they were before. Gender and sexuality are weird and wonderful and fluid and common. Complex. But to speak just for myself for a minute, not for any other trans or bi person out there, I think what happened with me might have had less to do with that newfound comfort and more to do with relinquishing the last bits of my internalized biphobia. So I grew up in Texas in the 90s and early 2000s. So as a product of my environment, I wasn't just biphobic, I was homophobic and definitely transphobic. The culture around me exacerbated my fears of the feelings I was having. Especially as a teenager, I was terrified of my attraction to girls. And it wasn't that strong at the time, but it was definitely there. And maybe it would have been stronger if I hadn't been trying to repress it so hard. And you know, I was given a great reason to repress it because everyone around me, including my AP psychology curriculum, told me that bisexuality was fake. A mental disorder. Anyone who thinks they're bisexual should choose one. Now this was great news for me at the time because it meant that I could only be into guys and that this weird fleeting sometimes attraction I had to girls was just like a weird fluke. It also meant that I couldn't be a trans guy because trans guys can't be into guys. <sighs> yes they can and that is another story for another time. And even as I got to college and learned that bisexuality and pansexuality are totally real and legit sexualities, I still wasn't sure. Privately, I started really identifying with and feeling comfortable in the label of bisexuality, but I wasn't sure if I was bisexual enough. That's one reason why I didn't immediately say what my sexuality was when I publicly came out as trans. I needed to sit with it for a bit. And once I gave myself that space to think about it, without self-judgment for the first time ever, I realized, yeah, I'm totally bi. Hella bi. Now there are a couple more reasons why I don't often talk about being bisexual, and they have to do with biphobia from others. Now sure, there's the biphobia that comes from like the general heteronormative public, like when it's easier to pretend that I'm just into girls when I'm around a bunch of like cishet guys that really intimidate me. And there's a lot of biphobia in the gay and lesbian communities, and people who think like I used to that bisexuality is fake. But the type of biphobia that I personally encounter the most in my nice queer little bubble is people saying that bisexuality is transphobic, and that if I'm attracted to people of all genders and non-genders as I am, that actually I'm pansexual. Actually. Oh, thank you for telling me. Didn't realize. Pansexual. Actually. Listen, I'm not necessarily gonna correct someone if they say that I'm pansexual, but it's not the term that resonates the most with me. And more importantly, bisexuality is not transphobic. Are there some bisexuals out there who are transphobic? 
Undoubtedly. People of all kinds are transphobic, including some trans people. But there are tons of inclusive definitions of bisexuality. Whether you define it as being attracted to two or more genders, or being attracted to people of the same gender of yours, as well as people of different genders than yours. Now some people do prefer the term pansexual because it expresses more of a feeling of being attracted to people regardless of gender. Or they like the term because of innumerable other reasons that are personal to them. Whatever reason people have to use a certain label for their sexuality is great and should be respected. I like the term bisexual because it just feels right for me. And frankly because I like the history of the label and I want to join in the fight for more bisexual representation in the media and within the LGBTQ plus community. Bottom line is sexuality is complicated. Bisexuality is real. People's sexualities can absolutely change over time for any reason, and we gotta respect that. And not just like silently, privately respected ourselves. We gotta work to make sure people's identities are respected by other people and institutions and the media. We gotta speak up, educate others, push for inclusive language and legislation. And let's fight for characters who actually say that they're bisexual instead of not liking labels or suddenly changing their sexuality from gay to straight and back again. I mean, both of those things are valid, but can we just have a few more characters who explicitly say that they're bi or pan? It makes a huge difference for kids to see someone explicitly like them reflected in media. Heck, it makes a big difference to adults, too. It makes a huge difference in acceptance in our community and outside of it. And you know what? One way we can work towards that is by joining GLAD's petition against Warner Brothers to make Wonder Woman bisexual in the next movie. Because she's totally bi in some of the comic book canon, and how cool would it be to have a superhero in a major movie franchise be bisexual? GLAD also has a bunch of other ways that you can get involved with Bi Week, so check out the links below and share your own pride and stories using hashtag Bi Week. And if you like this video, why not subscribe? Give this video a thumbs up and share it in the Bi Week tag. I make videos <coughs> roughly every Wednesday about queer stuff, nerdy junk, and waffles. I also have a podcast called Transmission, where I chat with other trans people about their experiences. So if you want to stick around and keep up with what I'm doing, you can follow me at Jack is not a bird on all platforms and throw me a buck of support on Patreon if you're feeling extra generous. All right, that is it for now. Thank you so much for watching and bye.